Knockout Cup football at its most exciting. And now we come down to this, the final of the Copa del Rey. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Well, no doubt about it, the nerves have been jangling in the last few days, but very soon the wait will be over. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a thrilling finale. It's Real Madrid, and they take on Osasuna. The instructions will have been clear from the managers, Derek. Stick to the game plan, don't take risks in your defending third, and embrace the occasion. Don't be frightened of it. What a game this should be. Nadine Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him here? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-two, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. <laughs> And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Vinicius Jr. starts with Rodrigo out wide. And the main goal-scoring threat provided today by Karim Benzema. This is what they'll be facing today. Well, they're playing in a 4-5-1 formation, which is set up to counter-attack at pace. Yes, they'll play with a flat midfield out of possession, but when they win the ball back, they'll break forward really quickly. Let's hope they play it well today. And the match is underway. Marco Asensio. Really inventive stuff from Real here. And moving through the gears now, Benzema. And still an opportunity. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Superb block. Well, the referee can't take any chances. And now he will receive attention. So following the injury, back underway again here. He's given us away. But he keeps going. And nicely struck. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Corner given to Real Madrid. And fired over by Kroos. And a goal! As Real Madrid scored first in the final. And just listen to their fans. Here it is again, and you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And then Benzema demonstrates his ability in the air. He judges the flight, meets it solidly, and beats the keeper. That's how to head a ball. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Lucas Toro. Well, they could run onto it here. Just cutting off the supply. Vinicius Jr. Able to deal with the threat. And 
and they have possession again. Asensio, good looking cross, and he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Who can they pick out? And still dangerous. Vinicius Junior. Chance to play it in. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Well, the supporters think it's on. Terrific block. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Moncayola. Well, based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. And fired from the flank into the area. Can he put it away? Marco Asensio. A oh, terrific pass. Oh, but brilliantly read to cut it out. It looks so promising. Asensio. Modric waiting. And a time for calm on the ball. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Big chance to get them on terms. He must finish. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Vinicius Junior. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. Oh, it's in! They're in front here! Now can they stay in front? Well, here it is again, and just look how he creates this chance. That's so inventive. While the move in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. underway at 2-1 tight contest here and one minute of stoppage time has been added on Moy Gomez has got the right idea with that pass it has to be and the keeper more than equal to it Well, the corner played into the box and so it is the first half story has been written into the second half then here at the Bernabeu Benzema, he's in behind. Well, when it's you against the goalkeeper, I'm sorry, you've got to do better. A very timely interception.
Rodrigo. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, it fizzled out. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Well, a brilliantly executed free kick. So near, Stuart. Well, he'll have practiced that time and time again. It's a fantastic bit of technique, but he just can't get it down in time. Toro. On to Avila. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Luka Modric determined defending and it will be a free kick to Real Madrid well just a rebuke rather than a caution Stuart well it's not a bad tackle and the referee's got that right You have to say that's a really good strike. Had that been on target, the keeper might have had a problem. Well, Real have had so much of the ball in the last 15 minutes and have been pressing to extend their lead. They just need to be a bit more clinical in front of goal. Yes, who knows? Maybe another opportunity in the works for them. Course. Oh, fine stop. Corner kick played in. Struggling to get it away. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. And a fantastic diving save. <laughs> Delivering it. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. But on the final analysis, his timing just wasn't there. Well, it's always difficult to hit those perfectly. And unfortunately for him, he got that all wrong. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And it's come off the keeper. Well, good defending, clattered out of there. Well, that save just about keeps them in this, but they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Course. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Well, still playing here, Real Madrid want to make this a victory. Stuart, interested in your thoughts on their overall performance? Well, they've certainly controlled the tempo of the game and just about deserve their lead, but they've got to keep their concentration right to the end here. Oh, he's given a penalty. Just what they wanted to avoid, given the circumstances. And on the back of that decision, now... Caution. Well, it's a tight call, but in the end, I think he's got it right. A penalty and a yellow card. Substitution for Real Madrid. An opportunity to level matters. And a timely penalty save. 
a corner kick and who knows this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser over it comes not really the ideal clearance well sadly a bit of a tame effort that one and far too close to the goalkeeper five minutes remaining and one thing is certain no one is leaving because it's still close gonna get a try just made sure nothing came of that this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity and he takes it on and a relatively straightforward save for the keeper well, the electronic board lets the fans know three minutes of stoppage time can he finish them off well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Opportunity in the wide area. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition. And so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. Yeah, really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.